In this video, we're going to solve a problem which appeared in the year 2021 in JE May. The problem is very simple. We have to find out the number of solution of this logarithmic equation. Now here we have two log function and uh, we need to simplify that so that we can find out the value of x. So let's go ahead in the solution section and see how we proceed to find out the solution of this equation. Let's go ahead. So first we consider the given equation. Now here see that we are having two functions, right? One is log 2x square 7x5 with base x plus 1 and other one is actually uh, x plus 1 or whole square with base 2x plus 1. So we can easily calculate that if the base are same, right? So first we consider the first first term that log 2 uh, x square 7 x and 5 that first term, right? So first we consider this term and try to simplify. So here we observe that this function is a quadratic equation. So possibly this can be factorizable. So let's try to factorize it. So therefore we observe that that 2 x square 7 x plus 5 can be easily written as by middle term factorization as x plus 1 and 2 x plus uh, 5. So therefore, the first term that uh, if I take the logarithm on both sides, right? So we get the first term in the left hand side and in the right hand side, it is straightforward. Now we recall the properties. The log property says that log x y, the product of two function log x y will be equal to log x plus log y with the same base. So therefore, the right hand side of this equation can be written as, as log x plus one and log two x plus five. Now we also know that, right? That log base b and if the argument is also b so the argument and base are same it is equal to one so therefore log x plus one with base x plus one will be equal to one and the remaining is as it is so that's it now we able to simplify that expression now so here we can easily understand that right that apply little bit of uh, uh, properties little bit properties of logarithm we are able to simplify we are able to simplify the given uh, uh, expression now our job is to simplify the second expression so therefore we can say that that uh, uh, the log of 2x square 7x plus 5 is equal to 1 plus something that uh, log 2x plus 5 and that's it so now let's go ahead and simplify the other term that is log x plus 1 whole square with the respect to the base 2x plus 5. So that we are going to simplify now. Let's proceed. Now, to simplify that, first we consider that uh, log 2x plus 5, x plus 1 whole square and all that stuff. So here we recall first the power law. So if we apply the power law, what's that? That log a to the power m is equal to m log a. Base will be same for this case. So therefore, this is to be written as, as 2 log x plus 1. Now see that for the previous expression, our base is x plus 1. So if we change the base, right, or make the base as x plus 1, it will be much more easier. So that's why we use the base change formula or the reciprocal rule in this case. So if I use the reciprocal rule, so therefore well, log a with base b equal to 1 by log a and base is a and argument is b. So therefore it can be written as 2 by log 2x plus 5 and base is x plus 1. So see that, right? This term like log 2x plus 5 is common in both expansion. So that's why we consider right that t is equal to log of 2x plus 5. So therefore, the first term will be 1 plus t and second term is 2 by t. And hence the given core equation will be simplified as right that 1 plus t plus 2 by t minus 4 is equal to 0. Now it's become a very simple equation. Let's multiply both sides. Let's multiply both sides by the LCM. That's why that t. So therefore, it will be t plus t squared plus 2 minus 4 t equal to 0. So if we rearrange the term, we get a quadratic equation t squared minus 3 t plus 2 equal to 0. So now it will be easily factorizable by middle term factorization. So if we do the middle term factorization and step by step, we get it as t minus 2 into t minus 1 equal to 0. And hence t equal to 1 and 2. So therefore, we obtain that the possible values of t is equal to either 1 or 2. And hence, we can find out that log of 2x plus 5 uh, with the base x plus 1 will be equal to 1 and 2. So we get the solution in a very uh, easier form now. 
but still we need to find out the values of x so that's why we will go further from this uh, point onwards so let's proceed so here obviously we have two cases one is one one is two so first we consider the case one which contains or we consider that one value now therefore right with our case 2 that log 2x plus 5 will be having the two values right that's it so first our aim is to consider the case 1 so if we concentrate on case 1 and apply the definition of logarithm so therefore 2x plus 5 is equal to x plus 1 whole to the power 1 that's the basic definition of logarithm and hence by solving we can find out that x is equal to minus 4 so that's it so we obtain x equal to minus 4 now let's concentrate on the case two cases right so therefore if i concentrate on case two by the same definition of logarithm 2x plus 5 is equal to x plus 1 whole square now x plus 1 whole square can be written as a x square plus x plus uh, 2x right the basic formula so therefore if we simplify we get x square is equal to 4 because 2x 2x get cancelled out and x became plus minus 2 so therefore the solution of the given equations are minus 4 minus 2 and plus 2 that's it so you obtain the solutions right but here we have a uh, problem because maybe right that at this particular value the log function is undefined right that may be the possible cases right because we consider a transformation so therefore those uh, testing need to be done so let's go ahead and make those tests now for testing right first we need to understand what 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 is the condition where any log function is defined so log a with base b is properly defined or the argument a must be greater than zero and base is positive that we consider so now let's go ahead so here if we take that x is equal to minus 4 then x plus 1 is minus 3 which is negative so therefore right the log function is not defined properly one of the log function is not defined properly so therefore x equal to minus 4 is not the solution Let's go ahead and test x equal to minus 2. If I take x equal to minus 2, we observe that that 2x square 7x plus 5 is less than 0. And also then that log of x plus 1, uh, uh, 2x square plus 7x, that term is not defined because it is only defined that the argument is greater than 0. So therefore, x equal to minus 2 is also not a solution for this equation. So only one option is left, that is x equal to 2. Now, if I consider x equal to 2, we observe that x plus 1, 2x square 7x5 and 2x plus 5 all are positive now as all are positive right so therefore all the log functions are defined and hence the equation is defined properly hence it is the only accepted solution so therefore the number of solution of this equation will be 1 and the exact solution will be x equal to 2 and that's it hope you understood the problem thank you